Alright, go ahead. Just, what's your name? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm Mr. Lebrec. So you can just talk to him. Alright. Or, or me. <laughs> Alright, good, good, good. And we're good to go? Yeah. Alright, good. Awesome. All right, so just state your name and like credentials or whatever. I'm Chip Butler and I make music. I am one of the band directors at St. Pius and uh, I went to University of Georgia, Go Dogs, where I got my music degree. My name's Lil Peach and I'm a SoundCloud rapper. I'm Evan Paul Smith. I am a guitarist, drummer, pianist, and bassist. My name's Jess Rushing. I'm an assistant professor in music therapy at the University of Louisville. I've also been a music therapy clinician for 10 years. Tell me a little bit about like where you think like music started or like came from. Well I um, think I think the origin of music was more rhythmic than we than we associate it with today. So okay. it probably started with just drums yeah. in like Africa um, and uh, just these tribes just coming up with beats and it was a way to communicate back in uh, the, the caveman days. So, do you believe in a transcendence? I believe in the possibility of a transcendence, but it's not like a certain belief. Like, I think there it could there could not be a transcendence, and there could be. Okay. But more likely that there is. I believe transcendence would be subjective to the person who may be claiming that they're having that type of experience. I don't know that I've ever used the word transcendence to describe something that I have experienced, but I would certainly say that life brings things that exceed the norm, particularly for me in relationship to faith, God, and music. I was raised as a Catholic as a kid, and I've grown when I'm to question it when I've gotten older, so I don't necessarily believe in the Catholic beliefs, but yes, I think there's a God out there. Okay, cool. And uh, do you think art, specifically music, is somehow related to transcendence? Um, no. Um, no, I don't think so, because, like, it seems like it is because of, like, how, like, it makes people feel, but, like, then, like, so many forms of art would be, and, like, that doesn't explain, like, why animals, like, if people never learned art, then they wouldn't think anything of it. They wouldn't even understand art, so it's kind of like an environmental thing that you're raised yeah. to think. So there's different ways that, that uh, historically and just traditionally that the church understands that God is able to communicate to us. Uh, these are called the, the transcendentals. And, and music, speaking of music and art, these are, these are things that express a certain and evoke a certain type of beauty that, that kind of resonates with us because it's, it's how we were created. And so one of, the, one of the beautiful things about the church is that it considers certain types of music to be um, uh, kind of music that, that can elevate, um, uh, art forms that elevate us and bring us closer to God. I believe music has a definite spiritual part to it. As a music therapist, my job somewhat banks on helping people be able to have experiences out of what their current norm might be. For example, if they were experiencing depression, or if they were struggling with an addiction, or if they have some sort of personal insight, or emotional experience, or catharsis that might be needed in order to help them move from a current state to a more healthy or something that drives towards a therapeutic outcome. And music is certainly the medium that I would use in order to do that as a music therapist. Music is just a thing that can be used to hope for a transcendence. I think it. it's like deeply religious, especially Western music as we know it, yeah. because that's how priests used to communicate with their congregations.
When you close your eyes and you seriously sit down and you take a song that has touched your heart, um, for example, Vincent uh, by the guy who made American Pie. Um, that song, I really don't even understand the meaning of the song, but every word and every note touches me in a way where other songs don't. And I don't understand why. I've tried to figure it out why. But I can always listen to that and think, hmm, there's some bigger connection. Sometimes it's just lifting up, uh, just getting lost in, in, in music and the, what, what it does to you. I mean, I've had times where music has made me like feel a certain way and like given me chills, but I've never thought it was the transcendence. So you're saying it's more biological? Yes.